All right, guys, so have a recall out for the 2016 Maserati Ghibli S here. Um, there's also a recall for the 2014s and 2015s. They all have recalls, but those two for the 2014 and 2015 are a little different. The recall for that actually includes you keeping the car at the dealer for three days because what they need to do to the front suspension involves um, glue and it needs to settle for uh, 48 hours. So that's a little bit more extensive. So if you guys haven't gotten that done yet, get it done soon um, just so you don't have any problems. Uh, my recall is a, a tie rod recall and what hap has to happen there only takes, I think they said two hours where they just need to do some, redo some bolts and um, you know, fix everything on the tie rod hub. Um, it, can, it can loosen so you'll hear noises coming from it and it could, you know, get a little bit worse if you don't get it fixed. Um, just the joints could be damaged or the hub could be damaged and they'll fix that if so. But if you keep driving on it without getting it fixed, they're definitely going to be damaged. So I'm going to get that done. Um, but th that was just a little side note um, with the recalls just to let everybody know who has a Ghibli to get that done. Um, a question I get asked a lot is the fuel. Um, what does it cost to fill up my Ghibli? Now, I fill up my Ghibli a little different than others may, and I also drive it a little different than others may. Um, so I work from home, so I don't commute to a job. I don't have anywhere I need to be specifically. So I don't drive my car a ton. Um, so as far as how much I fill it up a week, I mean, it could, be, it could differ, you know. Um, I can fill it up once a week, I can fill it up once every two weeks, just depending on how much I, I decide I wanna go out. Um, so that's really hard to answer. And you know, I'm not a daily commuter, so you might wanna see if you can find someone that has a Ghibli that's a daily commuter, that can tell you how much they spend in gas. Um, the fuel is pretty good. Um, it, it's all premium, of course, so you have to put premium um, in the car, uh, premium fuel. So that's no exception. You'll pay a little extra for that, which is fine. All right guys, so I decided to move the fun into the car. It was getting kind of windy and I know you guys love to complain about the wind noise and I love to comment back that um, I'm still trying to figure out a way to uh, reduce it. But that's besides the point. Um, we're going back to gas here. So I'm gonna go get the, um, or fill the tank up. As you can see, it's almost at a quarter tank. It's gonna get to a quarter tank by the time I'm going where I need to go. Um, I like to fill up my tank at a quarter tank. I don't like to let it get below that line. I just have OCD, so I'm always looking at it past that, and I'm like, you know, I'm always worrying like, oh, well, I wonder, you know, if I get stuck in a traffic jam or all that kind of stuff, you know, what will happen? So let me shut up for a minute. I'm gonna take off. Don't, don't try that stuff at home, one-handed shifting. I've gotten used to it, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, but yeah, I, I just, you know, I don't like to get it below a quarter. So I fill up from a quarter tank. Um, normally with premium, depending on the day, you know, it, it changes. But it normally costs me about $40 to fill up from a quarter tank to full. Um, if empty, I would guess it's probably somewhere around um, 60 so i'm just guesstimating don't quote me on that but that's what i would say at least 60 dollars. so if you're driving to where you're driving through a tank a week then it's probably going to cost you about 60 dollars a week to fill up the tank and the thing is is i always drive it on sport manual mode so the way i drive it i drive it aggressively as you can see i was controlling my throttle response time now i should probably shift I just like hearing that noise. But um, when you drive it aggressively, taking off you know, fast and, and your shifts and everything, it eats up gas. So that could be also another factor. If you're driving it in, in you know, normal mode, you're not gonna have as much of a problem as keeping the gas um, conservative. And, and you might be able to last more than a week on a full tank or more than a week on a quarter tank, depending on uh, what you fill it up at. So right now we're gonna take off and um, Go grab some gas and actually see um, how much it's gonna cost me to fill up. Like I said, it's about $40, but 
we'll just go with the flow and, and see what happens. But I'm probably gonna put put 40 in there and then just see what happens. But I think it'll be about that. So question I get asked a lot, how much is on gas? So let's find out. All right guys, so I pretty much ran it down for you a little bit to make sure that I got close enough to a quarter tank um, I usually do. Um, so this car gets 16 miles per gallon city, 24 highway. Then it kind of gives you a little bit of a, you know, guesstimate of what you'd be using. Um, I forgot to mention earlier. Earlier, So let's go get gas and see exactly how much it costs to fill it up from quarter tank. All right, guys. So I decided to go with a prepay um, just to see where we were. Um, was filling it up so I went with 40 on my pump so we'll see what happens um, in order to get to the fuel tank I don't think there's an actual button on the in interior of the car if there is I never used it I normally normally keep the key fob with me and then just come up to it make sure it's unlocked oh well it's not unlocked hold on there you go so Go 93 premium. So let's see if we uh, lucked out and got the full tank. Turn the car on. It's looking like it. Yep. No, well you can see that, but full tank of gas, quarter tank, $40. Now I know I went through a lot of steps just to explain that to you guys, but figured I'd make an experience like you were filling it up with me. So you kind of know what to expect um, once you go to um, put gas in your Ghibli. You know, before you buy one, you want to know how much you are paying in gas. About $40 from a quarter tank. So do the math from empty. It's probably around 60, but um, that's a guesstimation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, learned something, If even if it was something small. I've been getting this question a lot um, on, on comments. So that's what it is. Until next time, guys definitely like subscribe comment lets me know you guys like the videos and I like uh, replying and getting your input on things I always learn a lot of stuff from you guys too um, and then you know follow the social media if you want to see more pictures and stuff of the car um, other than that you guys take care I'll see you at the next one peace